So for those of you who aren't familiar with JIRA, what it is is a development project management tool. And what makes it so powerful is that it will save you immense amounts of time, money, and frustration. So at JH Media Group, we use JIRA when we have a development heavy complex project, which most SaaS systems are going to be. Um, and it, it, there you really need a robust tool like JIRA to manage that complexity and all the changes that are going to happen as the project evolves. So at its most basic level, JIRA is a set of tickets, um, which can include attachments and a thread for comments. Uh, but those tickets can be organized in an agile friendly way and that's very important and it's also very important that it can integrate with your code repo so for each ticket you can actually pull up what piece of um, code has changed uh, in response to that ticket. JIRA can also be your best friend in terms of release management because you can use JIRA to map out exactly which tickets are going to go into a planned release. And by the way, a release is just another name for a version, a version of your software. And that's going to be so important in terms of communicating with your any customers you have and amongst yourselves so that you know exactly what state um, each of your deployments is in and what kind of changes need to be made in those environments to allow new versions to work. And JIRA is also wonderful for sprint planning, which is going to be extremely important in managing your developers and um, managing, maintaining clear communication with them. So what a sprint refers to is just a discrete period of time in which um, you have an idea of what kind of work you'd like to have done. Uh, usually it's a two week period. And so it's also, this is one of the reasons we're doing this video is because it's so important to set JIRA up properly from the beginning. Because if you do, it can be extremely clear to your developers what exactly they need to be doing right now, what's the highest priority items, what order in which they should do those items. And it also signals other, uh, this, either the senior developer or peer, uh, peer developers that it's time to review somebody else's code because you do have your developers reviewing each other's code, right? You should. Then it also can signal your tester that, okay, um, you know, a fix or a new feature has been deployed to the test environment and it's ready for them to take a look at. And it can of course signal that a ticket is completely done. What makes JIRA so adept at handling that level of complexity is the fact that it is so easily set up with branch management. And what branch management is, is that um, for each ticket in JIRA, there'll be a separate branch off your code repo where only the changes related to that ticket reside. And this is extremely important so that you don't have developers stepping on each other's toes, so that you can easily locate where problems are, and so that you can easily put together releases and know exactly uh, what fixes and changes have gone into each release, including any breaking changes. So because JIRA has um, very customizable statuses that you can assign to each ticket, it maps very well onto a process of continuous integration. And what that refers to is the cyclical process of planning, coding, building, testing, deploying, et cetera, et cetera, that all projects are going to go through as they evolve. And JIRA has tickets and also release management tools that map onto each of those phases so that you can keep track of exactly where you're at. So one common question we get is why uh, can't I use Trello or Asana to do the project management on a given project? And maybe you can, but it depends on the project. If you're dealing with a complex project, it's not going to work. If you are building an industrial strength system, you need to use industrial strength project management software. Largely for a lot of the reasons that I just mentioned, that it integrates with your code repo, um, and the fact that JIRA is a list of tickets is deceptively simple. It's really the way you can organize them, uh, monitor their status, monitor your progress on a release, and communicate with your developers in very specific ways. Those are the reasons that JIRA offers um, so much more. So we highly recommend it if, if you have a project with any level of development complexity.